All right, I'm going to tell you some really good news that the Detroit Lions got. I think it's good news. I'd love to hear what you think. If you don't think it's a big deal, let me know in the comments. And, and by the end of this video, you'll hopefully I'll change your mind that this is a big deal and big news. So Aaron Glenn is no longer considered for the Arizona Cardinals job. So he's still alive for the um, indie job, but there seems to be seven others according to various reports. So the Cardinals job was the one that had me a little bit nervous because he was down to the end there, interviewed a couple times. He's interviewed a couple times with the Indianapolis Colts. So as of now, our main coaching staff stays in place with Ben Johnson, Aaron Glenn. Obviously, we lost Deuce Staley, but I was never a big fan of Deuce Staley. Never, and, and he wasn't offensive coordinator, wasn't defensive coordinator. He was running backs coach and assistant head coach. Don't really know what that meant. But these are the two guys we don't want to lose. We've got some momentum. We've got some things going on. And it's hard to imagine – that after an incredibly weird season for Aaron Glenn. So I'm going to tell you why it's so important that we have Aaron Glenn coming back because you may think, well, look at this last ranked defense in the league last year. And he got interviewed by Denver, New Orleans. And then this year, historically bad in the beginning, but uh, right here, trending towards being the worst ever after week eight annihilation in the hands of the Miami Dolphins. But after that, we fire Aubrey Pleasant and the Lions instantly improve, go eight and two down the stretch. Glenn was a huge reason for that. The Lions also benched underperforming veterans along the way and upgraded to Jerry Jacobs, Kirby Joseph after Tracy Walker was hurt. Then you've got pass rushers, you've got Aiden Hutchinson, you've got James Houston, rookies, right? These are rookies that come in. So after allowing 32 points a game, <laughs> they improved by 12 points a game, two touchdowns, two touchdowns to go to 20 points per game in the final 10 games. And we all know we go eight and two. We beat the Packers. We just hold the Packers to under 20 points both times that we played them. And Aaron Rodgers, love it, right? So Aaron Glenn, let me just look at what he's working with here. Look at our depth chart. Now, this is just a generic depth chart, so a lot changed and a lot up and down. So, like, for example, Romeo Aquara, really it was John Kaminsky that was in most of the time. But just look at the names. And, you know, we I got some stats pulled up here on, on their tackles and sacks and things, but let's just look at the names that he had to deal with. You've got John Kaminsky, who was cut from the Atlanta – Well, yeah, was, was cut from Atlanta. Aleem McNeil, second year. Isaiah Bugs picked him up for a bag of chips from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Aiden Hutchinson, rookie. Well, I don't know. See what you can do, man. He's, you know, number two pick overall, still rookie. Malcolm Rodriguez, rookie, because Chris Board, Josh Woods, Derek Barnes, especially, can't get it done. All right, let's get this rookie. Alex Anzalone, a nice, solid piece, not a dynamic playmaker by any means just a really good solid piece james houston we know he they got him listed at linebacker we know that he kind of rotated in didn't even play at first couldn't even get on the field gets on the field outstanding player jerry jacobs was like an undrafted free agent kirby joseph rookie deshaun elliott moved around a lot jeff okuda's basically his first year after a couple injuries so you look at this starting lineup that we had no wonder we went one and six no wonder we were terrible in the beginning you've got a bunch of rookies second year players or just guys you picked up off the waiver wire and it's like let's see what we can do so credit to brad holmes credit to him getting these right guys but then you got to give credit to aaron glenn yes it took him technically seven games to get this figured out but once he did man romeo or excuse me aleem mcneil played really well isaiah bugs hutchinson rodriguez houston kirby joseph all rookies that played a huge part. So their development, no, they, they weren't there yet in the first six games. But his ability to take this group, again, no offense to this group, but just this group to 20 points per game in the final 10 games is really good. I mean, you look at Brockers never played. Pascal was, you know, injured and came back to it. Levi owns a worky, hurt. Charles Harris, hurt. Levi, hurt. Tracy Walker out. So everybody goes through injuries. I get that, but and we got some injuries. We've got, 
you know, if he hardly ever played Will Harris, um, Amani Oware is just not good. So you look at this group and it was a tough sledding early on, but he was able to do it. Cause you look at tackles who led our, our team in tackles was Anzalone, Deshaun Elliott, Malcolm Rodriguez, Jeff Okuda. I mean, if I show you that, you think, oh, my gosh, this is not good. Who, what are we? Well, this is a group that rallied together. Aaron Glenn pulls this group together. Because I remember last year thinking we were we were terrible on defense. And it's like, well, yeah. I mean, between our personnel, injuries, and then COVID a little bit, there's no chance. And you remember, Matt Patricia left us nothing defensively. They traded away Quandre Diggs. They traded away... Um, Darius Slay just for nothing. And, and he was a big component proponent of, Hey, I'm just going to get a bunch of average guys and I'm so smart. I'll make it happen. I mean, no, that obviously did not happen. And you're left with the cupboard was bare. We're bringing in guys. So my point is if you don't think Aaron Glenn is a good pickup or a good person to retain, I think he's a great coach. I, I just have to think that because all I saw in the last 10 weeks was him being a great coach. So let me know in the comments, Aaron Glenn's a great coach. I know, I know because he was really bad. The team was really bad. Couldn't stop anybody. We would have won. Had he stopped some people, we would have won one more game, been in the playoffs. I get all that. But the fact that we were able to go eight and two down the stretch, that's the last thing that I've seen, right? It's the last thing we've seen is the last 10 games. Really good with a bunch of rookies, second year guys, and a guys that have been undrafted free agents picked up off the waiver wire. That's what we're looking at. So we're going to continue this year to put in the resources in the draft free agency to continue to prove, improve our, our defense because as much as we like some of these guys, they're, they're like Bugs, for example, love Bugs, but we have to get better. We have to get better in the def interior defensive line. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Yes, this is good. No, it's not. I just like it to keep the continuity between the offense, defensive coaches. I think Aaron Glenn really has it figured out. I really, you know, I just, obviously he's got just, if you're going to give him as much crap when it didn't have it figured out, you got to say, well, he's got it figured out now. And he's doing a great job because I think he was trying to do way too much. I know he was trying to do too way too much with the young guys, and then he, you saw it when in crunch time he went man up and just let the pass rush get there, and it worked, and it worked. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I will see all of you on the next one.